We are live. I can refresh, make sure you can hear me, you can see me. Nothing yet. Man, still nothing. It's kind of taking a while. Get this out of the way, and I think we're good. Let's see who is in the chat before we start. And David, Florida Flipper, David says El Paso repping. It was actually snowing today in El Paso, which never happens. But today, randomly, it did, and stores were dry. People scared to hit the roads from one day of snow. Florida Flipper, Jimmy, Browntown Finds, Becky, Red Tangos, uh, Anastasia, and Michael, Sneaker Finds 12, Recovery, and Mr. Mormo, Money Time, District Deals, Alan Resell, Stone Builder, Super 6-4. Keep going here. Oh, man, this thing's going quick. Got to hurry. Robert, Stevie D, Jeremy, Tony, Super 6-4, Willie Will, Michael, Zombries. Uh, that flipping guy, Philip, Brian, Caroline, and Michael. So those are Michael in here. Collectibles, Miles, Randy, Elite Hustler. Collectibles Beyond, and Official Drizzy, and more people coming in. Patricio also here. Mr. Knows, knows It All, <laughs> and Anderson. All right, Barry. Okay, let me see. Where are we on? Yeah, we didn't freeze. Everything's good. I think you can hear me and see me. So we can start uh, the show. Can I see your jersey? Today, I am. Let me get this out of the way. Today, I'm, rep I'm repping LeBron. So there you go. LeBron, he had himself a day yesterday. Is hitting uh, a lot of threes, and uh, we got the win. So yeah, I was like, you know what? Let's wear LeBron today. And let me see who else is here. Chris Smart Money and uh, Sneaky Feet, True Win, Top 5 Things, Midwest Thrift. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Here's the thing. Uh, um, so I don't know what's been going on with you. Maybe eBay sales, how are sales, anything you want to talk about. I can tell you right now. Taxes are really kicking my ass right now. Like I have everything set, but I have to put it all together um, <laughs> for it to make sense. It's my first full time being a reseller. All the other stuff was like, I got 1099 working and then this on the side, this on the side. So now, yeah, I really just got to gotta get all this stuff. And then I have to wait for it. And, you know, finally got everything in. I think 31st, you're supposed to get all the forms in from wherever else you're selling and just a hassle man i just uh just hate hate this tax time and all the tax commercials you see all the time too tax ads all over the youtube channel everything adriano what's up all right let me get this out of the way you know where we're gonna start we gotta have our opening segment and we gotta start off with super bowl uh was the outcome to your liking did you like seeing the chiefs win here's my rundown here's exactly what happened in super bowl in case you missed it, first half, boring. Uh, I was sitting there. I was like, oh, man, I should probably. I started shipping a little bit, but I was like, this is this is rough. It's like 10, 10, nothing going on. And then, you know, halftime show, woke up real quick. I was like, all right, now we're getting into something here. Uh, halftime show, awesome. And then the third quarter kind of like fell back to sleep, kind of like, oh, this is a little boring. And then fourth quarter. I was like, all right, we're good to go. We saw the comeback, and it was worth it. Uh, but the first half, you're probably just like, nah, it's, it was it was like 10-10. Uh, no one liked the halftime only from Phillip. I think refs won the Super Bowl. Uh, Chiefs kicked ass. Let's see. Shakira better than J-Lo. Don't at me from Sneaky Feet. Uh <laughs> Let's see, better than last year's, uh, best halftime show, <laughs> uh, best team won, yeah, halftime better than uh, better this year, and halftime was lit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people complaining about halftime shows, like, why, what's the deal? I mean, these people weren't complaining last year with, uh, what's his name, Maroon 5 dude, no shirt on, I was like, come on, man, and then this year, we get a little, you know, J-Lo, Shakira out there, and then people complaining, it's like, come on. Uh, all right, let me get this. What's our next? What's our next uh, slide? Oh yeah, breaking news and updates. Um, you're not gonna like this one, uh, but next week it's extremely rare, rare when I miss a Wednesday, but it does happen. Uh, next Wednesday, I have some business to take care of. I cannot do the live show. Instead, 
we'll have to move it to Monday. I know, I know. It's heartbreaking. It's going to feel weird. It's going to feel weird for me too. But if you show up next Monday, I'm going to make it worth it. $50 gift card giveaway. Um, I'm going to enter more people into being our, uh, this actually should say February, um, Hustler Hog. Uh, if you show up and that Monday one will be well worth it. So we're going to switch live show on Monday and then a regular video on Wednesday. So we'll get that one. We'll get that one set. Stevie D, $2.69. And Jamal, Jamal every week gets uh, a message from Stevie D. Uh, Monday, question mark. I know. I'll be there. That's fine. Rest in peace <laughs> Wednesday. I know. It's only a one-time deal. So every Wednesday, we're going to be set as we normally do. But this one Monday, uh, just you got to make that switch. Uh, Monday, money Monday, and bring back no edit Thursday. I know. Maybe might might come back. I'm still trying to get my other thing I wanted to do with clothing finds. I'm way behind on editing. Smooth selling. What's up? All right. Let's get into eBay solds. Um, I asked the question earlier. How have your uh, eBay sales been? Goat, StockX, everything combined eBay, the same thing, started to pick up a little bit more, but I do think that a uh, GOAT and StockX are just like, no, they're just not stopping. Um, and eBay, there's gotten, of course, returns. They have gotten three returns in the last couple of days, so that's all part of it. Uh, but this one, first one, foam posit floral size nine. You guys remember these are the outlets. They were uh, pretty cheap at one point. I think we had them for like 109 plus 30 at one point for the florals. And the green one, uh, but this one we did find at Ross. So forty-nine dollars plus tax came out to fifty-four eleven. We did sell for one thirty-nine. What sucks though, at least for the customer, is that with tax bumped up to one fifty-one, and I've had at least the last maybe the last five days or so two customers that just backed out completely because of the tax. And one guy was mad too. He was all pissed off. He was just like, I didn't know you were going to be upcharging me on this extra fee and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, I have no control over the taxes. Like whatever eBay's charging you, whatever extra, like I have no part of that. I just want to get my money, ship out the shoes and we're done. Uh, but here I got a fee, $4.20 because I did have a promoted listing. So Mercurial Van, I'm asking about that. So I did promote it. Uh, PayPal fee obviously going to be high, adding in the taxes in there. Shipping was cheap. It is a smaller shoe, size nine in women's. Uh, so we made a profit uh, $68.66. Got these January 20th, about two and a half weeks ago. And the ROI was great, over 126% or so. Yeah, eBay tax is crazy. Um, and we pay the fee on sales tax that eBay collects. I know from Randy. And that's another thing, too, is trying to keep you know, track of that. I think this year is going to be even harder because we didn't really see it come into play until like, you know, mid to late last year. But now this full year of having all this tax stuff, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be tough. Um, let's see. How's PayPal 1624? So PayPal is this amount because of the taxes. It doesn't go through your eBay fee. It goes through your PayPal fee and you'll see the breakdown in, uh, how much sales tax and all that is, uh, for your, you uh, know, whatever you're selling. So check out your, your PayPal. It's going to be in there. Uh, next one, we had a uh, men's, let's see, black and red full zip poly track jacket, $45. We saw this one at Ross too, but I picked it up at Nike outlet. Uh, and this one was a couple of weeks back to January 13th, drove out to that outlet where they had all clothing it was $10 extra 30. Uh, then you got to use the coupon or MVP. So this came out to uh, $6.80. So sold for $45. Um, there's our fee. So $4.12, regular eBay fee, PayPal, $1.60. Shipping, uh, shipped it into the padded flat rate envelope, $7.52, which also went up. Um, I think after, before this, it was, I think, $7.33 around there. So it did go up a little bit, uh, $7.52. Profit will meet close to 25 bucks on uh, this jacket. So ROI is insane because it was so cheap. It's six, almost seven bucks. Um, Iguodala to the heat. I did see that. Miami Heat. 
And our last one I want to throw in there. This one was weird. Um, and it does have to kind of go into uh, play with my next video. So LeBron 17, uninterrupted, more than an athlete. This was a return at my outlet and a little bit bigger, size 14, paid 109 Not bad, but uh, originally I had sold it for, I think, 210 and the guy didn't pay because uh, I didn't even notice this. Or maybe I just didn't pay attention to this shoe when it came out. It has LeBron markers that it comes with, like two or three markers. And I didn't think about it. I bought them at the outlet. So this guy was like, does it come with the markers? I was like, no, uh, I forgot. I didn't, not that I forgot when I bought them. I just didn't even know. And then I told him I didn't have the markers. He's like, well, I'm not going to pay for it then. And I'm like, oh my gosh. It's like 210 I think is what I sold it for. Lowered the price, sold it, because now I can't sell it on GOAT or StockX depending on, or I can do GOAT, but it's missing I guess accessories or whatever. Uh, so in this case, I was like, you know what? Let me make some money. I made 50 bucks. I could have made way more than that. Didn't think about the marker thing. They're super heavy shoes, size 14, shipping $15.66. Not even that serious level out. I know. PayPal $16.63 because of the tax. And uh, yeah, we made over our 40% ROI, which is our lowest end 40%, but at least we made close to uh, 50 bucks. But I'm going to talk more about that one. So I finally finished the video talking about my GOAT and Stock X uh, shoes that I sold and why they came back. Um, I finished that video. That video will be out on Friday. Let's throw a Sharpie in there. Call it a day. <laughs> uh, let's see. Next one. Uh, a pirate ship. I know. It was even... I tried. Uh, this one was actually... 1566 was through FedEx, which was cheaper than pirate ship and the ebay rate they had going so this was my best uh possible option uh 1566 okay it's getting to weekend releases and i can tell you right now this video and monday's video where we go live again pay attention to the weekend releases the next two weeks so many releases dunks jordans and more going into all-star weekend you know all-star weekend um, you know, they have shock drops and things going on, especially in the city. This year will be in Chicago. Uh, so if you're in that area, you got to pick up something. There's going to be so many different types of releases and drops. Uh, so that's that's going to be good. So next two weeks, this one and next one, weekend releases. No more, uh, you know, wasting time with that, uh, with that random stuff. So Air Jordan 34 Black Hat uh, 180. And Black Cat 4s just came out. Now we get the 34s. How do you feel about them? Smash or pass? And this one comes out tomorrow, February 6th. Personally, I don't think this one will uh, sell out or anything. Uh, no more Reebok <laughs> releases. Uh, let me see. UNC uh, to Chicago looking like Mega GR from Recovery. Let's see, pass, smash, and pass. Uh, let me go back up. Let me see uh does you guys I'll switch up used to ship let's see patrick five dollars from paper max what the sold 289 hashtag fire patrick thanks for that five bucks we're also going to be talking about paper max at ross which ross is killing it right now all right next one nike react vision this will probably be soon coming soon to the outlets and then slowly trickle down to Ross. So Nike giving the popular React Element 87 a futuristic makeover and now called the React Vision. And 140 comes out tomorrow. And it makes me think too, you know, Nike pushes out so many products. I mean, it has to come to mind like to really think in their head, like, man, do you think these will sell out? Or <laughs> I don't know. Like, well, I don't know what they think. Still the same shoe, pretty much. Uh, white and black would be better. Pass, pass, and Garbo, and pass. Okay, now let's get into the money. We got we got rid of the first two. Uh, Dunk Low Plum, $100. Comes out Friday, February 7th, 10 a.m. Sneakers app and other select retailers. And part of the Ugly Duckling pack released in 2001, the Plum Nike Dunk Low returning for the first time in its original premium suede upper uh, that's covered in multiple shades of purple Complemented by red accents on the Swish, Laces, and Outsole. Let's see. 
What do we say? Fire, fire, smash, whack, uh, resale, cop, uh, them plums, though, cop all dunks, smash so nice, personal cop, I agree. And especially $100, you know, dunk, they're a lot cheaper, especially dunk lows. Uh, like them, not because of the hype. Resale, thumbs down, coo kicks. Uh, still profit to be made. People uh, be like they're these Nike SB from J fire gross and for personal so yeah I, these will sell out try to pick up a pair collection uh or to resell i think you're good to go either way ross 2020 next one pg4 plaid now someone returned the pg4 gatorade uh at my outlet and seeing them in hand actually not too bad plaid though i don't know how i feel about this one 110 and I believe the Gatorade sold out on Sneakers app or Nike.com, one of the two. Uh, Friday, February 7th. So PG's fourth signature basketball model, dressed with a plaid-inspired graphic on the mesh. Let's see, trash, <laughs> drop, eh, no, pass, pass, and pass, fire, uh, mall walkers, 34 at Burlington, just like the PG NASA for kids. That one's been showing up at Ross. Garbage, set it on fire. Pass, hit it your Ross shelves soon. Garbage, pass, and thumbs up from Koo Kicks. Pass on the plaid. Had a pre-sale from Finish Line Dapper Fanatic. This one's hurting my eyes. All right, next one. Uh, Nike Air Force One Low Chicago. Now 130 comes out on Saturday. February 8th, and in celebration of All-Star Weekend taking place in Chicago, Nike created a special iteration of Air Force One that's covered in a multitude of camo graphics throughout each of the upper's panels. Uh, so let's see what they say. Actually pretty cool. I like the color. Pass. Trash pass. Never. Uh, smash. Let's see. I like the patterns. Dope. Meh. <laughs> Flip. Uh, are you going to All-Star Weekend? No, we did. I think me and Hustleby looked up All-Star Weekend when it was in Charlotte, which was like last year, I think. Man, they're like the prices are not messing around. Even to see like, what is it like World Against USA game, dunk contest. All of these are like separate ticket prices. The Sunday game is out of control, like two grand for like decent seats. Um, I mean, it could go try to pick up, of course, sneakers everything like that but usually when it comes to all-star weekend everybody of course knows how many drops are coming around so you're gonna have to really bring your a game and be there as soon as something hits or if it goes to a certain store you gotta be ready uh let me see smash uh smash pass and you can't get tickets for anything all-star game tickets given to vips also crow uh you ball in though <laughs> From Holland S, let's see, Lit and Nah from Adriana. All right, again, more Yeezys. This one, the 700, 220, comes out on Saturday. And this one, uh, <laughs> latest variation, Adidas Yeezy Boost 700. And this one debuts Stealthy Black Color Scheme. Anybody here in the chat own a pair of 700s? That's a real question. Let's see, Great Profit, Smash, Cop, and Cop. Uh, Stevie D has courtside all-star game. Uh, those will sell in-store drop only 220. Those are dope. Let's see. Cop and pass. Uh, what are those? Trash. Uh, let's see. Straight garbage. Sold a pair. Not me. No, never. Fire. And there'll be what? Great dad shoe. <laughs> uh, easy. What does it say? <laughs> What's a resale value? And let's see. I don't know. We're going to see pass from Taket. We're going to see what this one, but it seems like every week we've been talking about easy. So, so many different colors. This one being a 700, not the 350, um, if that matters or not. And hell no, nah, these are bricks. Okay, Strange Love, Nike SB Dunk Low. Saturday, February 8th, $100, same price. Strange Love Skateboards, collaborating with Nike SB on Valentine's Day themed Dunk Low. Uh, sports Pink Suede and Velvet Panels. And uh, by red hits on the swooshes, laces, and heart graphic by the heel. Smash or pass. So two dunks, two dunk lows. Interested to see what people will think and if they're going to pick up any for the collection. Let's see, straight fire. 
I want to make love to strange love. That's DVD. Cop to flip. Copity. Uh, cop for personal. Cop for resale. Yes, love. These will definitely pop up at Burlington. Uh, let's see. Great shoes to dump your girl. Um, the thing is, you should be single so you're not spending money on your girl. And instead, you're picking up some sneakers for yourself or to resell. I also forgot about that stuff too. Valentine's Day. Uh, hopefully the wife's not expecting too much. Uh, usually yeah, as like being married and like the years kind of like every year it gets like less and less. <laughs> I think when you're like dating, you're like, all right, cool. I'll buy this, do this. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, year by year, I'm getting like less and less stuff to give to her. <laughs> Let's see. What is that? Velvet. Um, so drop 9 a.m. on sneakers app. And oh, 9 a.m. Oh, so maybe this one was wrong. But double check sneakers app and have that saved. Married life pizza on the couch. Uh, <laughs> and uh, last one, which I don't think we really have to say much about this one. But Jordan one, we'll talk about it anyway. Retro high 85 varsity red. Two hundred dollars. Which yes, we did go up on the retro one uh, to two hundred. This one making its return. Original high cut form. That's uh, true to release from 85, limited to only 23,000 units with the individual pairs numbered on drawstring bag. And here's the thing, though. Uh, we were really hoping for OG colorways. This Varsity Red, it's kind of like a switched over panels. Like, it's not necessarily... If you're really picky about Jordan 1s and retros and colorways, it is different. Uh, but this one doesn't, doesn't matter. Resale value, we know they're going to go high. Smash, going to catch a fat L. Valentine's Day is overrated. Uh, Jordan Serena Williams, a.k.a. Jordan Serena Williams, sneaky feet. Let's see, cop sneaker app, botters on site. Played out, big cop, low production. Um, let's see, oh, just wasn't released. OG colorway, Michael Jordan. Let's see, sneakers app sold out. Um... Let me see. For some reason, this one looks more like a boot than other AJ ones. So original high cut. So it is a little bit higher. That's why it might look a little bit more boot-like. Guaranteed resale be over 1K. Uh, I'll take a size 18, whatever I can get. Smash for sure. Things going to be gone in seconds. And uh, yeah, this is going to be... It's going to be tough. But uh, good luck. And hopefully you can get something. Good luck and Godspeed on these. Okay, let's get into store updates. Where are my uh, Jersey people? Cherry Hill. And once again, I think a Toys R Us falls victim. Is this a Toys R Us? Yeah, it is. Ross planning to operate two retail chains at the former site of Toys R Us, uh, Route 38 and Cut Birth <laughs> Burt Boulevard in Cherry Hill. And let's see. Here we go. I know, I know the Jersey boys are here in the in the chat, so... Ross, I think they're building a Ross and right next door DD's discount. So you get you get both of, uh, best of both worlds. Uh, maybe you don't want to walk into DD's. It's up to you. And here what I like reading, what it says in the article. And it says, Ross aims for shoppers from a wide range of household incomes and who want a bargain versus need a bargain, the presentation says. It notes price and value matter most to this shopper who embraces the treasure hunt format and spends time shopping for bargains. Uh, contrast customers at the discount chain are typically younger, more ethically <laughs> diverse, okay, and from lower to moderate income households. Um, man, they're just, okay, so that is. We have some flippers out here, though. That's that's what we're there for. Those are the deals we want. Uh, let me see. Let me go back up and see what uh <laughs> what they say. Jersey sucks. Doug the pug. Uh, Cherry Hill. About to Google how far that is. Uh, I cop good weed there. <laughs> Cherry Hill. It's DVD. Uh, let's see. Jersey. Everything's legal, especially that sports gambling. Uh, if anybody bet on Super Bowl, uh, the wording on this article is strange. Yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, let me see. We're having a uh, Ross in Clarksville, Tennessee, opening real soon. Small sailing. So thanks for that. I didn't see that one in the articles, but thank you for that one. 
uh, Urban, <laughs> laugh out loud from Miles. And let's see, Cherry Hill is my territory, baby Stevie D. And next one from uh, Muskegon County. I'm probably just butchering that. I don't, <laughs> what does it say Muskrat? Muskrat County, Michigan. And this one, Burlington opening up. So a new location at Norton Shore Strip Mall in March. So next month, according to the company's website. So better be on top of things if you are in this area. And let's see, rest in peace and names. <laughs> Curtis, uh, New Ross opening Chicago Mercurial Venom. Uh, Muskegon. Okay, there we go. That flipping guy. Uh see where are we found $30 size 8 Kobe's at Ross once from Sean uh, what website is that I don't know I just saw this one in some article I just look up random articles in the stores that we hunt and this one came up and also what Wisconsin Midwest Thrift another one musky <laughs> from Sneaky Feet alright so those are the only two that I saw there's probably more out there I'll be uh, more prepared for the next live show on Monday I might add not Wednesday. Power rankings last week. DD's discounts at one. Uh, TJ Maxx, or half. TJ Maxx at one. Marshall's at two. Burlington at three. And Ross was at four. And power rankings did shift a little bit this live show. And one more thing. Uh, one time I opened IG, I think two days ago, and it said uh, 60 tags. So... If you see your tag or your photo in here, more than likely it was probably from the last time we did it, which is seven days ago. So seven, six, five days ago, these will be in here. Anything from yesterday, um, it, it won't be in here. Uh, they'll be on Monday show, but I'm definitely going to have to try to catch up because uh, it was a crap load of tags and a lot of people finding the Vapor Max at Ross. I can tell you that much. DD's is staying at half, and TJ Maxx also stepped up. Uh, two, which also I think TJ Maxx might overthrow Burlington based off of Willie Will and some other people on their finds. DD's staying at one. We didn't have much. Ronzo's tried uh, 40 bucks. Tailwind 79. This is our only DD's tag. Um, but thank you, Ronzo's, for, for getting us on here. At least, at least one tag for DD's. Um, <laughs> all right, now we get into TJ Maxx and Daily Hustle, Thrifting Together, and Willie Will. So Willie Will got, uh, what did he get? So 97s, Vapor Max, and looks like Air Max 200s in here. And there's some, like, pink, uh, pink clothing in here. And then we have some 95s and more 95s. This is a weird TJ Maxx. It has carpet. Uh, I haven't seen that before. Might be in uh, old school TJ Maxx or something. Uh, but got the carpet in here. And then TJ Maxx Daily Hustle. Got the 98 black and pink. Not bad. And Air Max Plus at 50 from Thrifting Together. And that was it. So TJ Maxx, this might be enough. Uh, especially for next week's show. To over uh, override Burlington. Because Burlington, man, it has been, it has been extremely rough. All right, next one, Marshalls at three stars. People have been finding some pretty good stuff in Marshalls. Uh, not at my Marshalls, but somewhere else. Red Tango's, uh, $16 Hyper Dunks on clearance. Everybody on Yellow Tag in here. Red Tango's again, more Hyper Dunks. Green one, orange one. We've got Timberlands also down on clearance. Price Assassins, I don't know, was it $29? Uh, it looks like Air Force One High. And then Timberlands. And an extra 15. So this one, we have a parka women's jacket, kind of blurry, hard to see there. But a J.J. Watt Texans jersey fully sewn. I don't know what the price tag was, what it said, but interesting find. I think definitely one hold on to for next year and future J.J. Watt. Um, you know, just Texans Hall of Famer pretty much down the road. So whenever you want to sell that one. Uh, next one. Bought it for less, more yellow tags, and then uh, NJ Sneaker Finds with the new balance, Activate Hustle Mode, Grade School, Air Max 95, size 4Y, complete with box, thrifting together, $50 for Hyperdunk 2008, size 11, and 9.5. And 
Uh, $29 for the JJ Watt. So not bad. Fully sewn. I like that one. Uh, hold on to that one. Get good money for it. And then today we flip. Now we're getting into like, what's going on here? How come my Marshalls isn't looking like this? But today we flip uh, grade school up tempos, $45 and foam posits, $45. Uh, sneaky flips, sixty dollars for the Hirachi two K four, the Kobe. Um, I remember seeing these at Marshalls. Uh, it was like mid last year, and then the Florida flipping Hyper Dunk forty dollars in blue, Hyper Dunk twenty seventeen, and uh, Russo resales. Just I mean, how does this happen at one store too? At all these different different colors. Um, he also got uh, that same up tempo. Um, in his little slideshow thing here, but a Russo resale. So we got the orange one or habanero one, and then we got kind of like this camel green one, 45, 45, and then this uh, magic kind of colorway, $45, and then just walked away with 10 pairs, four and six here. I don't know what that one is. Replacement box, doesn't matter, and $45 each. Um, <laughs> now what's going on here? This is... This one's wild. I mean, I'm glad foam posits are back. Um, I've been going to Marshalls every day. Nothing yet. So I'll be on the prowl, be on the lookout, and nothing. I've yet to see foams at Marshalls. Not getting what? Not going to get my hopes up yet, though. Foam, sticky feet, and get his zip code for Russo Resales. <laughs> yeah, find out where this is. Next one, Incognito Retail Resellman. With the dunks and that like red velvet dunks on clearance though too, uh, pretty cool. Went down uh, red tag, activate hustle mode, and grade school seven Y for have a Nike day ninety sevens, and forty dollars. Like, where are these marshals? We gotta find this. Uh, foam posits ninety sevens, even some of these dunks. Hustle bin with the Kobe icon. Has that zipper thing? You can. Uh, I think people, most of the people, are taking this off. Um, has like that Kobe six uh, looking bottom and midsole thing. So sixty dollars, ten and a half, ten. There's more of them in there, and sixty dollars. Marshalls and uh, A seven resells with the Gucci slides went down from two twenty nine down to two oh seven, and uh, I think he says going to pass on that one. I wonder what it's going to be for a yellow tag though when this thing goes down. Um. Let me see what the chat says. All in, all in jersey. Um, everybody's ready. Also, a hustle jersey. Trying to get everything situated. Uh, let's see. Fire. South Jersey sucks. <laughs> I smoke blunts and Gucci slides DVD. Um, let's see. I'm booking a flight to New Jersey. eBay Joey. And where else are we? Every day, Gucci slides and daddy needs his dunks. My Marshalls is garbage. Marshalls been pretty trash for me. Those are the updates, and that's it for our Marshalls finds. These two slides alone will make you double and triple check your local Marshalls. You never know. The days you skip could be missing out. You don't want the other hustlers in your area picking up anything. Here we go, Burlington, three, three stars. Now, Burlington, did I give Marshalls three stars? I think I did, yeah. Marshalls and Burlington, I'm being very generous for Burlington. I'm just going off of, you know, rank and over time. And you know, they treated us very, very well. But it's a very close tie. I gave them a slight edge. Three stars. Jedi Hustler and Sneaky Flips. Undercover Reseller. And a lot of the New Balance been showing up. And I haven't been seeing any other New Balance in there. Um, there's one, that one, which is that festival one, I think. So Sneaky Flips, Jedi Hustler, this one, all made in the USA. Uh, pretty cool new balance out there. Let's see what the price, I don't even know what the price is on these. Uh, Red Tangos and Random Finds with the gloves, Adidas Predator gloves, $7.99. And retail $140. And let's see, any goalies out there, question mark? I think some people were asking if there was a flood on the gloves. I'm not too sure. Haven't seen these in my area, but 140 down to eight dollars. Uh, just giving them away. Let's see, New Balance thirty four dollars. I got about ten pairs of the New Balance. Eba Joey, wish I could find New Balance. And Burlington needs more babe cleats. Let's see, Mini Flood, Sneaky Feet, 
Burlington need more classic pro wings, laugh out loud. CNJ Enterprises with the Nike Stranger Things Hawkins High School hat. Interesting. Uh, I know I, they, they do get a lot of Nike hats. I didn't really see a Stranger Things one, though. I think it was $10 maybe around there. So may want to pick up one of those. Uh, Super 6-4, different kinds of New Balance out there. Uh, this Adidas cleat, I forgot what that one was called. And also the Predator gloves. Super 6-4 with the bats. So three more bats and added on here. And I think, I forgot who this was, but you got blocked off. Sorry about that. New Balance and more gloves. Willie Will uh, with that same, I think, was it like Festival or something like that? And then Just Fire Deals, which is pretty funny comment. So is this a restock or a reseller thinking they found something good, then realizing they can't make any money with them and just leaving the cart? Uh, oh, Super 6-4, this is you. Sorry about that. Uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Someone just left a cart there full of these uh, 720s. Uh, let's see. Gabriel, what's up? Festival pack for this one. We got Fila and Tailwinds. I know a bunch of those. Where do you usually sell your shoes? eBay and Festival pack. Let's see. New Balance. Hoarding the Babe Cleats. Space Balls. Let's see. Rookies. Uh, shake my head. Yeah, so that's that's pretty hilarious. Next one. Stone Builder, I think he's here in the chat. Uh, $60 for Vapor Max in gold. And then uh, Russo resells again and more Vapor Max. This one, I think, Willy Will. So Daily Fine 69. Here's my question Smash or pass on the, this particular color on the Vapor Max? I've seen people mad that it tanked. I've seen people leave them behind because they don't trust the price. And I've seen people pick up every pair they could possibly find they are sixty dollars so smash or pass on this particular vapor max let's see smash super six forces passed smash i bought them but they'll be a long hold uh i found tons of dope asics at burlington for 30 bucks very nice um sell locally key brady smash let's see vapor max central as usual pass Smash, hard smash, <laughs> and pass. I saw them for 80. Oh, well, that happened. Sold mine on goat for 160 sneaky feet. And uh, resale freak says smash. So uh, a little torn. Most people still say smash on these. And that was it for uh, Burlington. I think maybe just the Vapor Max festival pack, the gloves kind of saved it a bit. But I think. They were pretty lucky to get the three stars. I think Marshall's foam posits and 97s, I think, should have taken it. But maybe next week, Marshall's. Ross, a perfect five star. They've only hit five stars a couple of times. Last year they did it. This year they're doing it again. And I am really surprised that uh, how well they've been doing for January and February. I mean, Ross right now, just on fire. And Next week's going to be even bigger because how many tags were there and how many Vapor Max I saw, it's going to be wild. This one, let's see, Ross is run by a cult, <laughs> sneaky feet. I went to Ross today, Lakeisha, uh, sizzling hot. Ross been killing it for me. Super Six Force is one star for me. And Felicia says Ross is the boss. Uh, <laughs> Jorge says, oh, I'm not going to read that one. <laughs> anyway. Uh, LP Cells and Just Fire Deals, Cam Pepper, and Texas Pete. I think he said he passed on the Legacy. Legacy was still, what, oh, $60. Uh, those shocks, these things are wild. I don't know. If, would you rock these? That's a question. Would you rock these shocks? Oh, this thing going on here. And But this one, $40? Is this a kid's one? Or maybe it's just mispriced? I don't know. And then Cam Pepper with the uh, LeBron Soldiers and Camo. Let's see, uh, Mario Lopez jump rope priceless. <laughs> I know the dude's everywhere. Uh, that's what a uh, relentless resale said. He that's goals for him. He wants to be like the next Mario Lopez. You know, handsome, brown, works out a lot. He's got a long way to go. Relentless resale, uh, super six four, and this is pretty cool. I remember seeing people tagging me on these jackets. I never saw them in person. Thirty dollars retail for six hundred. 
sold two of them, stayed patient. They didn't sell automatically uh, 300 and then 325. Uh, that's wild for these uh, bomber leather jackets for uh, $30. Antonio got the SpongeBob Patrick for 25. I think this one was a toddler, I think. And then uh, Romaleo's at 40. Kobe's, big Kobe's in green, $45. Uh, Jay Minaj also giving us a selfie with the Vapor Max and also the, what is those, like Air Max 97 Plus or Plus 97? I forgot. That one and then a couple of pairs of Vapor Max, uh, 65 each. Uh, still kicking at sports, 270s in that South Beach color. And then Jay Gardner with the 720s that everybody bashed on last week until we saw how many were uh, selling and how many were out there. So these definitely picking them up. Uh, 59 bucks. We said we wouldn't rock them, but we'd sell them. Uh, Mr. Halfapino with the 97s. I think the 97 premium. Hella Fines with the 95s. Black and gold, $60. Ross Fines, Oregon, 95s, 97s, and the 270. Um, and uh, flipping it good, $30 for 97s in kids, a size 7 or no, 4? Oh, 4Y. Sorry. Okay, let me go back. React's not moving. We saw how many listings there were on that one. No, those 95s are dope. Actually, probably one of the better colors we've seen at Ross. Let's see, those are money. Uh, my Ross. <laughs> let me go back up. Those are money again. I want to find the Patricks. Uh, two seconds. What? <laughs> I was two seconds from asking for a donation. Uh, Reacts are flooded. And eBay Joey, we'll see ya. David, what's up? And Dita's baseball cleats flooding my Ross. I did notice that too. The black and yellow ones have been flooding. Uh, Lace Connection, flipping it good, looking for thrifts and Ronzo's. Ronzo's had himself a day with uh, Vapor Max Plus, two pairs here. Uh, utility, two pairs of utilities. Uh, so great finds there. I haven't even seen, I haven't seen any of these actually. <laughs> Uh, 2019, Vapor Max 2019, $65. This one we have seen, Chinese New Year, looking for thrifts. Lace Connection, easy money on the multicolor. Vapor Max Flyknit. And uh, flipping it good, got Vapor Max Flyknit 2 for 39 It was mistagged. Uh, so great steal there, $39. Bucks. Uh, let me see. Vapor Max Plus, I've not seen anywhere. Uh, let me go back up. Or are we? Uh, any video on what GOAT doesn't accept, what they sent back to you? Yes, that one was going to come out. It's going to come out on Friday. I just finished the edits, and I just got to get everything ready to go for it. So that one, you will definitely enjoy um, <laughs> with that video. Uh, let me see. Which of uh, Ross and El Paso is your favorite? All of them. Because I found finds at every single one. Uh, we are plugged in every borough. Y'all can keep Ross <laughs> Willy Will. Uh, all I see is Vapor Max Premiums. Next one. So not only are Vapor Max back, cleats are back. $30. And all the Vapor 360s, Superfly 360s, uh, Sneaker Finds 12, Stone Builder, a Shoe Shark, and Flipping It Good. And we also got the Phantoms, $30. So seven and a half. Size eight, great size there. Six and a half, a little small, but should be able to flip. Also for 30 bucks. I mean, yeah, Cleet's been selling good too. Uh, deal account 888, great finds here. Four pairs. Uh, Stevie D as well with that pink uh, Mercurial Vapor in here. Elite Hustler 212, looks like 97s and three pairs of Cleet's. And then Hustle Don't Stop 81. Also, three more pairs, all high-end, ACC, everything we know and love, 30 bucks. Let's see. Alan says, resellers at my area are good. Everybody found cleats. Um, let's see. I took all the studs off when I got home, and I'm going to sell them. See page. Uh, sneaker finds 12, and now message retracted. <laughs> I need to find cleats recovery. Pink materials are fire. Money machine. I agree. These are awesome. Cleats is Will's middle name. And uh, sitting on Cleats now from Chris. Only time I see Vapor Max is at the outlet. And I cop three pairs of Vapor Max Plus in Atlanta. Very nice. 
Man, more cleats? Uh, sorry, whoever this was, they got blocked off. Stevie D, another one here with the Phantom Vision, Ghost Laces, uh, Superfly 360, 30 bucks, Hustle Don't Stop again. And a Dapper Fanatic, also, this is a little bit smaller, size 6, 30 bucks. Man, more? <laughs> a Shoe Shark, again, Tempo. And then more Tempos with the Wrench, uh, Mile High Hustle. And Don Alpha Cleat just showing off at this point. We haven't even seen Don Alpha Cleat, I think, in like two weeks. And then we get this massive haul. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs, random cleats, Phantom, Phantom Vision. Um, I don't know what else I can say. This is a hella find. Let's see. We're going to go back up. Check your DMs. Um, I can check the DMs, and I've... I know I've gotten pictures on the DMs. It's tough for me to go through all of them. So double check the tags. That's my best way to do it. So I can import them all in. If you don't see your photo in here. Um, let's see, temples are sweet. He's fronting. Those are two weeks worth of his fine sneaky feet. Um, let's see. What's best size cleats? Uh, personally, I have sold. I mean, I have sold random sizes like 11, 11 and a half. Um, but usually size eight through ten and a half are great. Anything above eleven and a half and over, you have to get them for a really good deal. Um, you know, 30, 20, 30, 35, I think are still worth picking them up if they're a certain high-end cleat. Uh, but eight through ten and a half, you're pretty much good on money. Uh, I have sold I have sat on like six and a half and some sevens. They've been harder to move, they're just too small. Almost like a you know grade school size. Still pretty good for two weeks. <laughs> I'll have a lot from recovery. Flexing for the gram. Indeed, Doug the Pug. 1999 all day. And uh 365 deals had some deals here, and then I just noticed that they did not show up, but <laughs> they'll show up later on. 365 deals, that same 720. And uh this one's pretty cool. So Kyrie Taco. And I don't know, I think this is a kid's, um, probably a kid's, looks a little bit small. Uh, next one, let's see, Reproject, looking for thrifts, ghost deals and deals, and deal account 888. Now we're getting into uh, full cart hauls. I remember seeing this golf shoe. Some people have been taking them, some people haven't. More of the pink Hyperdunk, Kobe's uh, team basketball. That's a pretty sweet Vapor Max Plus in like that black and volt green. Um, then this one got blocked, but Vapor Max Fly Knit in blue and white. Another Fly Knit. Uh, this is a pretty sick one here. Looking for thrifts. Uh, great finds on that one. Ghost Deals and Deals, Beavis and Butthead, Adidas, Hyper Dunks down on clearance. More clearance finds in here. And then Deal Account with Cortez, Fly Knit, Vapor Max Fly Knit. Cleats down here, maybe like four pairs, five pairs, maybe even more. And then uh, 95s, and then Vapormax Utility. It's like, man, uh, people getting cart full. And Daily Hustle. Profit Goods, 365 deals again. And Kicks for Flips, all with the ASAP Rocky. $35, compare it, 53 And more people have been finding them. So congrats to you guys and picking these up. This one a little bit smaller, I think size 6. And I think next week is District Deals. I got them with Box. So if they didn't make the list this one, it'll be in the next one. All right, Nomad Expert and South Flow Finds, Golf, Hyperdunk, 98. Uh, Stone Builder, Hyperdunk, 97s. And the Pink Vapor Max, Deal Account, 888 again. More cleats and Air Force One Low, Alpha Bounce. Can't really see what else is in here. And I don't know what's going on here. Nomad Expert with Hyperdunk on clearance, more Hyperdunk, and more Hyperdunks. 95s and 97s. And that was it. So, Ross, that's different. You'll see in the next one. I think next week's going to take us a long time to go through the slideshow for how many Ross finds for a random Monday show. Where the hell are these Rosses from Holland? That's a good question. Um, we don't even see Ross Shallington in this slideshow or Dish of Deals, um, but I'm pretty sure Ross Shallington, that guy's just on his lunch break picking up cartfuls of stuff, so who knows. Uh, Collectibles Beyond, 
Uh, only two fines. Might be in the next one. I got to double check. Mm, ASAP's extra grands. And those Sonic Air Maxes are straight heat. I know that Seattle Super Hen uh, Supersonics colorway. I like that one. I uh, haven't seen any gloves since October. Laugh out loud from Pip. And at least I got one in there for my B-Day. Texas Pete, happy B-Day. And uh, yeah, Georgetown. What? I got to make sure... I'll make my my rounds for Out Hustled and say what's up to Texas Pete. You see my Sierra find? Yes, I did, which I thought was pretty sick. We might have to throw that one in for uh, the next power rankings. And let's see. I literally put, uh, posted a shot of maybe close to 2K worth of finds. TJ Maxx in the shelves waiting for me. I did see that one. And I think that one... So that one is next week because that one was only like, I think yesterday you tagged me or maybe one before that. But I think that one alone, when I first looked at it, that one might put TJ Maxx over the top. TJ Maxx might overthrow Burlington at that point from that photo. Um, but we'll have to wait until Monday. Didi's half. TJ Maxx two. Marshall's actually they're supposed to be three. Burlington at three and Ross at five. All right, and oh, that was my update again. I keep saying it Monday, making sure you don't forget next Monday. And giveaway time. I almost forgot we had to do a giveaway. Here it is. Same thing, 30 bucks from Ross. Next week will be a $50 gift card. So maybe I'll do 50, should I do outlet $50? Or 50 for Ross again? I mean, Ross is probably gonna be number one again next week. So that's why I've been doing straight Ross because they've been number one. Um, I could do Nike Outlet 50. We'll figure it out. Uh, let's see, 50, 50, and Ross. Okay, here we go. Let me get my answer before we start. And I got my answer in here. All right. Now, don't overthink this one again. And has nothing to do with fines. It's just how much you know your stores. <laughs> now, this is not U.S. Keep that in mind. Not for U.S. Uh, in order by most stores in the world, <laughs> Ross Marshalls, you put them in order. Most stores, Ross Marshalls, Burlington, and Didi's. And let me see my answer. See, uh, <laughs> this uh, this answer is kind of throwing me off too. I was like, uh, I don't know if that's right, but I double and triple check different websites to make sure I got the right answer. And apparently so. Let me go up and see. All right, a bunch of answers coming in. And sneaky feet, no. Jose, damn, that was that was too fast. I mean, at least give us some time. Um, Jose Martinez with 1-2-A-B, which is the right answer. And that was, that was way too fast. Uh, but congrats to you, $30. <laughs> um, Ross at number one. 1400 stores marshall's apparently marshall's uh they're counting like canada and i didn't think i thought uk had like tk max i don't even know that you still had marshall's too uh but 1400 stores from ross marshall's at 1100 burlington 631 burlington uh i thought they had way more stores than that and then dd's discount which makes sense 190 still fairly new somewhat and ross's like annoying little brother at dd's discounts uh let me see <laughs> will he will let me go back up so jose congrats to you on that one and 30 bucks i'll send that your way anything else we got to say before we get into our hogs of this live show and next week's live show since we're gonna have so many tags i think i'm gonna add three to four people to uh to win the february hustler hog so here we go top hackers week one i only chose two 365 deals and this is the photo that didn't come out more vapor max and i didn't even i was kind of surprised this one didn't show up uh i think i transferred it and then instead it moved here air max plus uh vapor max plus sorry and air max ones this one's pretty sweet and then uh, Russo Resales, who got Vapormax at Burlington and uh, Foam Posits and just killed it at that one. Marshalls. Uh, so congrats to you guys. You got added on here. Dapper Fanatic is in our Hall of Fame 
for January. And uh, now we're going to start our new one for February. Now, I haven't said what I'm giving away. Number one, I'm waiting for something to come in. Once it comes in, you guys will be updated on that. On what February will be, trust me, it's going to be well worth it. We're not giving away Bread 11s this, this month, uh, but it'll be well worth it for February. And uh, yeah, Monday show, I think will be, man, finds Ross right now. Straight fire. Uh, let me go and get out of here. Where are we? Man, we're like five minutes early. <laughs> Let's see. We'll move some stream. All right. Anything you want to say? Anything on your mind? Uh, anything about uh, being a Hustler Hog? And someone said we need shirts, like exclusive Hustler Hog shirts. And I do agree. It needs to very, you know, feel special. Maybe banners. Hang up your banner, you know, once you're there for the for that month and maybe for the best of 2020, we need to do something special uh, for all the hogs out there. Uh, go hog wild. Uh, why isn't there a Wednesday show again? <laughs> uh, Cause I got to handle some personal stuff. So family stuff I got to do. And I'm like, uh, it's kind of tough to miss. I don't like to miss Wednesdays. It's like our, it's our live show. It's what we do, but this one, I can't do it. So Monday will be our day. Um, let's see. Would you do a Plato's and Uptown Cheapskate ranking? It's a good question. Um, it's tough because, you know, not, not all people have those stores. It's kind of the same thing with adding in, like we haven't added Nike Outlet, which we think would be number one mo every week. At least they should be. And then uh, what's the other one we didn't add? So Sierra Trading Post, I think is one of them. And then Nordstrom Rack, we also didn't add that in since... They have way less stores than everybody else. Faith Lopez, great, sh great show as always. Thank you for that. What's up with the Flex app crap? Uh, it's yeah, it's weird. Um, I mean, really what they're trying to do is eliminate resellers. So that's why they added them all together. But even the dollar amount and stuff, it just, yeah, everyone's thrown off with that Flex thing. Uh, why don't you go to Adidas outlet? Uh, I do. I just don't film anything. Uh, I think I had one really big Adidas haul last year and uh, our finds are okay here and there. Our uh, ultra boost aren't on sale as much as they should be. At least what I've seen uh, Dick sporting goods. I did go. When did I go uh, on the tent sale? We have two Dick sporting goods in El Paso. One of them, no tent sale. The other one did have a tent sale and man, the sales Weren't, weren't really that great either. We had a bunch of like lower end basketball shoes, a lot of kids shoes. I was kind of disappointed in that one. Uh, let me go back up. Stevie D, great job. See you later. We'll see you, Stevie D. Uh, someone asked about a 1099. Where was that one? I think it was Jimmy. Uh, man, I can't see the comment. I don't know where it went. Let me go back up. Uh, might be over here. No, no. <laughs> I didn't see. Oh, here it is. How do you get a tenant from StockX? Did they mail or email you? Did They did email me and I fell out the form. I don't know if there's anything else I have to do. Um, I got kind of thrown off by that one. And if you transfer that money into your PayPal, um, it's going to show up on your PayPal income. So I don't know. That one, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll keep you guys posted on what happens in that one. I have to talk to my accountant too. Um, on on the stock X thing. Uh, but that one sucks. I don't know what the taxes. Let's see. What is your sales rating on goat? Um, I can, up. Uh, let's see what this one is. I can refresh it and see, uh, goat seller rating is 1798. I canceled like, <laughs> I think I canceled like two or three of them the last couple of days. It sucks. I hate canceling. When you double list things, when will the next out hustled be? That's a good question. I get that question every week and we are, uh, um, me and hustle, we are still, he's in the Philippines right now. So this dude, like we are trying to figure it all out and I think he's going out of town again. So we're, we should be able to get that done in the next, I'm hoping two to three weeks on like getting dates finalized. All right, um, where are we? 
Well, he sent me one for eBay. Didn't start go until after or later. I can just combine. Um, I had a buyer return a jersey without warning and returned it from the address that he works at. Not sure what to do. Waiting his response. Um, always call eBay. Anything happens, call eBay. And if you don't like your answer, call them again and get the right rep to give you the answer uh, you want. I can tell you that much. They have some reps that have no clue what they're doing. You have to keep calling. And it sucks, but um, is it true there's no eBay open this year? That is very true. That's 100% true. They're doing a uh, little thing where they do, what is it called? Upfront, eBay upfront or something. So they go to your city and they do little like either a local meetup or, or eBay. People go there and they do like a presentation and you meet other sellers. We went to one in Dallas, me and Hustleby, and it was all right. Um, eBay opened though for how much it costs. A lot of people weren't really feeling it. And we went last year, uh, cause we were able to do like a presentation and they paid for that, but to actually go and spend like 300, $400, I could tell you, if you're looking to like learn, you're better off going to out hustle than whatever we do for, our, for whatever workshop, because it, the, the eBay open stuff is very general info that you probably already know too if you're even if you're like a rookie and getting in there so might as well focus on whatever niche you're in and that's what we want to do for uh these out hustled like meetups and presentations and things uh ebay not coming uh to pa at all yet i know i saw that too they're not even they're they canceled ebay open but they're not even going everywhere in the u.s so that's also kind of frustrating for people eBay may be sold. I saw that too. Rumors out there. Someone, um, I forgot who he said, was looking to buy it. I don't know what eBay's really doing too. Um, I love the platform, but they have so many things they can improve on. Not only from a reselling aspect, but buyer and seller aspect. And even marketing. You know, mark like marketing aspect. Like getting more people to buy. Everyone's hyped up on Poshmark, Goat, StockX, and these because... People want to go through the apps and, you know, kids that are wanting to buy whatever and sneakers, like they don't care about eBay. Um, uh, Joey bought eBay, uh, B slinging masks. <laughs> um, let's see, go back up. Um, he better not get coronavirus because if we're meeting up for out hustled and I get sick very easily, you guys already know that. Um, See, people only go to eBay these days to buy used stuff. And I can tell you right now, too, I told you before, Mercari, super steals. People that don't know what they have, letting, them go, letting things go for cheap. Um, I'd rather go Mercari route than eBay route. eBay needs to fix people buying things and not paying for them. Then I have to relist it 100%. Uh, Felicia, they still haven't fixed that, and we are in 2020. Can you believe that? <laughs> People can still buy stuff on eBay and not pay. Um, uh, yeah, make more money. What was that? On Poshmark these days. Laugh out loud. I know. People have been doing well on that too. Extra grand to the man. Appreciate that. Mercari equals gold. And hopefully they grandfather 0% fees athletic shoes. I agree. And Miles, keep hustling. Great show. Appreciate that, Miles. You're here every single week. And have you sold more or less quicker on Goat and Stack X? Yes, uh, to Kelly. There's way better than um, than the eBay sales, 100%. And we don't get any returns. And they pay right away because you have to pay in order to get something. Who would have known? That's the way things work. All right, we are done. We went slightly over our hour. And remember, next week will be Monday show. We're going to do a $50 giveaway. Make it well worth your time, well worth your while to join me on a Monday. All right, get this out of the way. See you guys. And I'll have my GoatStockX return video on Friday. So see you guys. Go out.